Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel or on our website. Reach out to me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing a model launched back at Basel 2008, probably the closest thing La Suta Original has to a design icon. This is the Pano Inverse. 42 millimeters in stainless steel. The watch wears easily on a smaller wrist, partly because the lugs are short cropped across the wrist at 48.5 millimeters in a case that's only 11.7 millimeters thick. There's a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs, so the watch is nicely stanced. And if you look carefully, you can even see that there's a little bit of a revetment in the flank of the case on both sides to allow the strap to bend without impinging against the case flank. Throwing it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see it is a comfortable timepiece. Broad and flat, it does wear easily easily under a dress cuff, though perhaps too spectacular to bury underneath a sleeve. I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, and as you can see, it is easy for a cuff to ramp up and over the side of this one. A dynamic watch, it looks special and it is special. The timepiece, hardware and software, let's take a look here with a lovely new buck almost velvety alligator leather strap. There is a monotone stitch. It is a gray strap with a folded edge, a little bit of bolstering to give it some volume. You can see it's substantial and viewed from the side. It is calfskin on the underside, and you will appreciate the fact that it is a brand new Glossuta Original factory strap, a folding clasp made of steel to match the steel of the case. You can see it features both satin and polish, and while a deploying clasp normally gives you some insurance against accidental droppage while donning or removing at bedside, Geo goes one step further with a screw to fix the buckle on the strap so it cannot accidentally come undone. Rolling back to the case, you can see it is spare, simple, and striking, with the lugs sharply broken out. This is a Geo case style signature. A satin finished mid case that continues into the edge of the lug profiles. There's a little bit of a transitional bevel on the lugs, and then they're polished on their hoods. There's polish between the lugs. There is a Geo style logo crown, and then we have a bezel with a step in its middle. It's all of high polish, but it's also minimalist, such that when you look at the watch from the front, it's more like a small silver halo than a dominant structural feature. The dial is very much like a pocket watch turned inside out. If you've ever exclaimed, I wish I could wear that watch upside down, well, this movement is designed for you. As the caliber 66, seen here, features a three-quarter style bridge like a vintage German pocket watch. It features glossuta stripes. It features a dial side escapement and a duplex black polished swan's neck fine adjustment mechanism on a full balance bridge with two freehand engraved sides, so both sides freehand engraved. Black polished screws, you can see engine turned perlage on the base plate, and there is a machined bevel. There's also a set of train jewels set in black polished screw set chaton and a power reserve indicator indicating the roughly 42 hour manual wind reserve of the movement. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour and it does feature a stop seconds function. You'll also appreciate that the dial such as it is is applied with applique tri-arabic numerals and indices. The timepiece is handsome, special and in every regard it gives you all you could desire on the dial side because the reverse will handsomely finished and competent in all regards isn't quite as exciting. They do have the jewels set in chaton, the glasuta stripes, the nickel anthracite coating from the front, and black polished access ports for maintenance. You'll note it's also adjusted in five positions, which is impressive because that is the high horology standard and it's often what you'll see on chronometers. All of this pivots on 31 joules and it is 50 meters water resistant, which is surprisingly resilient for what is essentially a large dress watch. This is a timepiece that fires on all stylistic cylinders. Imaginative, beautiful, and again, you never have to risk dropping your watch to show the movement to your friend. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we are back with the Glasuta Original Pano Inverse by Night. It's loomed!